Maggie Klein, welcome to the Breakfast Nook. I'm a contractor with Wizards of the Coast, and my opinions are those of mine, not those of Wizards of the Coast or Hasbro. Had to do that. Sorry. So let's talk about Marvel Snap. So I gave Marvel Snap in my review one thumb up. I want to change it to two thumbs up because I've become hooked on Snap. What got me into Snap really was honestly was the season. Because they give you a bunch of missions, and then you gotta do a whole bunch of things, and, and it gives you fun playing the game. Because instead of just playing the game to win, which I have a good win ratio, um, I'm playing the game to accomplish tasks for to to get bonus points, to get bonuses from the mission, get extra cards, cool booster bunnies, and all kinds of other cool things. So I'm having fun with Snap. But what, what's interesting about Snap is the way Snap distributes the cards. So this I did not know when I reviewed it at the time was you can't buy boosters. There's no boosters. There, you, you, there is no way to physically get a card that you want. You don't. You Basically, it's divided into three pools. So you have pool one, which is like some basic cards. You have you have the starter set, and then you have the pool one, and then you have pool two, and then you have pool three. And the way you get cards is you play games, and you at the end of the match you get boosters, which then you use to boost your cards, like from effects, from being like just a plain card to frame break to 3D to animation to flat sh shiny logo and things like that. And then, so that unlocks on a chain and gives you these points, which then move you up this chain and gives you cards. And so it, you slowly unlock cards. So I'm at pool level two. I'm about halfway through. So I've got about half the cards now. And so, and you play people that are in the same level of you in the pool. So you're not going to see too many cards, but there are points where your card pool is going to be worse than the carpool of the guy playing you. And yes, you have to play hard. And yeah, I won those matches. But that was because I knew how to play. So the deck I'm running right now is an in infinite deck. So basically an infinite is a is is like the bomb. It's for six cost, it's a 20, 20 power thing. So that gives you 20 in that location. And with some of the effects, you can move it to other locations and do all kinds of things. But it wins a location. And the whole point of winning in the game is to win two locations out of three. Or zones, or lanes. We'll call them interchangeably. I don't. I don't know. But anyways, so you, he gives you 20. So he's really powerful, but you can't play on your fifth turn. And my deck doesn't run any ones. So I'm playing, I'm skipping turn one and turn five. To, so I have to play, so I'm right now working on a strategy to play from turn two to turn four on how to capture one other lane and then drop down my bomb and win. But it has alternative win conditions so that if you don't get infinite drawn, then you can pull on Devil, Di Devil Dinosaur and Moon Girl's effect to, to have a huge hand and win a lane that way. Or you can play drop down everyone's favorite from the starter set, Incredible Hulk, and just take a lane that way too. It all varies. It depends on how you want to play. But the the two to three, I have Mr. Sinister. I, I'm experimenting with Scarlet Witch right now. And I'm trying to Angelique, but I don't know. I might switch to Ant-Man because he's, he's more, he's a guaranteed four. For one, and but Kill, Killmonger's coming, and once Killmonger comes, what's the point of playing one one power cards? So, yeah, I'm having fun playing Snap, and that's my deck. The deck I played in Pool One was Zoo, um, which was just a lot of one one and two two weenies that that are all look like creatures that create that that just flood the board, and then you put a Kazar down, and boom. They get all big, so you, you throw a bunch of squirrels down with Squirrel Girl, and then, you know, and then you have Electra to take care of their one ones. You might throw Namor in there, stuff like that. It, it There's plenty of articles on Zoo, and it's not effective strategy because of Killmonger in Pool 2. And it really doesn't work in Pool 2, because, and I've also been working on Odin decks, but 
I haven't found that Odin deck that makes me go yay yet. And the Odin decks that, that I see, I don't have those cards yet because I'm still mid level pool two. So I have like half of pool two, but I don't I still need the other half. So that's 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 my snap experience.